This is a video that's going to help you with adding and subtracting positive and negative fractions with like denominators. Let's look at the first problem. The first problem, I have negative 8 ninths plus 5 ninths. Whenever I add or subtract fractions, the first step is to always make sure I have a common denominator. In this problem, I already have a common denominator. So then I ask myself if they work together or against each other. They work against each other, and the negative wins the battle. When they work against each other, I subtract. So when I subtract, my answer is negative 3 ninths. Now, I can reduce negative 3 ninths because they both are divisible by 3. I divide the 3 by 3 and get 1, and I divide the 9 by 3 and get 3. So my answer is going to be negative 1 third. Let's look at the next one. I have negative 2 sevenths plus negative 6 sevenths. So they already have a common denominator, so I ask myself, do they work together or against each other? In this case, they work together since they're both negative. When they work together, I just add the answers up, or the numbers up, or the numerators up, and I get negative 8 sevenths. Now that's an improper fraction, so I have to change that to a mixed number. And 7 goes into 8 one time, with 1 remaining seventh, so my answer is negative 1 and 1 seventh. Now I have subtraction problems. Whenever I have a subtraction problem, I always add the opposite. So when I do that, some of you like to think stay, change, change. That means the first number stays the same, the subtraction is going to change to addition, and the sign of the second number will change. So my addition problem is negative 4 fifths plus negative 7 fifths. Now I ask myself if they work together or against each other, and they work together, so I add them and I keep it negative. So I get negative 11 fifths. 5 goes into 11 two times with one remaining fifth. So the answer to this problem is negative 2 and 1 fifth. On to the last problem. Again, it's a subtraction problem, and I already have my common denominator. So what I need to do is stay, change, change, or add the opposite. When I do that, I get 4 elevenths plus 6 elevenths. And now I can just add them because they work together, and my answer for that is 10 elevenths.